Dad, Father, Yahuwah, in the name of your son, Yahushua, please bless us all with the wisdom and the understanding that you want us to have today. And we praise, worship, and thank you for your loving us. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit to minister to us today and every day. Thank you for Yahusha. Thank you for being our God and our Father. We thank you for the privilege of prayer. We thank you that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess Yahusha Christ as Lord and Savior to the glory of you. We thank you for healing the sick. We thank you for giving us the power to rebuke and come against Satan. And we rebuke Satan right now in the mighty name of Yahushua. This is my prayer in the name of Yahushua. I pray. Thank you. Welcome to you all again today. And may God's blessings continue blessing you every day and forever. In Yahushua's name. Let's begin. Chapter 9. I prophesy. God is now moving and calling the man one more time. Every time he shows up, it's because he can see. Listen. See it? Yahushua on the way to the cross. Blood in his eyes. He's blind. And guess who shows up? The eyes shows up. And the eyes took the cross and he says, I know the way to Calvary. And he stumbled all the way to Calvary. Whenever the church is lost, God looks for the eyes. God looks for the eyes. Where was Peter when Yahushua was blind? You folks that just joined the family, I say to you, you are in the right place at the right time. This has nothing to do with prejudice. It has nothing to do with the color or the skin. It has to do with the time. I prophesy that is this. If you say no this time, if you say no this time, you will be the very cause of the church to wander and stumble for 40 years. Moses says, please. Moses was begging this black man. He said, please help, please. We can't make it 40 days. It's all in your hands, please. You can help us make it, please. The black man said, no. Listen, way back then, the black man was thinking of himself, not the people. Listen, this is not funny. Listen to the Spirit talk to you today. You really need to listen. Because the very next words that comes out of Moses' mouth, the very next words that comes from Moses' lips, now to me, I believe, reveals the purpose for the dark-skinned man. Moses was begging this man. Moses said to him, please... You've got to understand this. Moses was with God. Moses had witnessed God's mercy, God's grace. He saw the bush burn. He saw the plagues on Israel. He was walking with God. So you may think or say, 
How come Moses is begging this guy to cross a little piece of land? Let me tell you why. Because God's purposes will never change. No matter what you want to do, God says, if you need me, God will not use a substitute. You got to get this. The purpose for the man, Moses says, please do not leave. Why? Because you know the way through the rough desert and you can be our eyes. Eyes. You know what eyes are. Eyes are the pillars of vision. The church needs vision. They got everything but no vision. The TV programs, they ain't going nowhere. The crusades, there ain't nothing happening. The gospel music, most of it noise. Give us some vision, God says. God is saying, give them the sight now. It's your time. It's time for you to stop following and start leading now. It's time for you to start listening and talk now. It's time for you. Oh, God, it's time for you to stop borrowing and start lending now. Start receiving, start giving now. It's your time. You know, I tell you, and this is not a statement of prejudice. It's a fact. Black men have such high spiritual sensitivity when they're right with the spirit. Higher than any human I really know. And I've been to Africa and I've been back in those villages and those people are so spiritual. They're so spiritual. They pick up their ancestral spirits and their demons. They love spiritual things, even if it's wrong. They love it to the max. They really know, see. They really know how to get into it. Why? Why? Because God has given them the ability to see, to perceive to see the eyes. That's why when a black man gets anointed and he really truly becomes committed to receiving God's right now spoken word and simultaneously begins to act on it, hey now, he's a dangerous man. Don't you know that the Garden of Eden was in Africa, the Pashan River, the Euphrates River, are African rivers. Listen, God is saying to us, I want you to walk in the footprints that are already there, and I want you to create some new ones. It's time. I want you to lead, not follow. I will show you the way for you to go. I will. I am. This has been such a blessing to me. I told you for years I've been pregnant with this. Glory. We've got to be free. Listen, God, just bless us all. You and me all over today. In Yahusha's name. God has given some of us an acute awareness of our time. Now, God is asking the question one more time in this generation, and some are reading this message from all different parts of the world. Praise God for that. So know that you are not just here reading this because you like to read or because you have found some writings that quenches your appetite. No, no. You are here not because of anything you've done. God brought you here to kiss destiny. We're going to pause here for today and be at the will of Dad. We will be right back here tomorrow. 
Father, we now just thank you for your word today. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your knowledge, your understanding. Thank you for sharing it with us in Yahushua's name. Thank you for loving us in the name of Yahushua. We pray.